Yo, what is going on, Game House? I am Germ here. Today we're talking about some very, very big news coming out of the League of Legends world. Uh, we're going to be talking about some big changes that are going to be coming to the game in 2023. Uh, now, yes, it is only August and we still have a ways away from that, but it's still exciting to hear some changes coming. Um, I really do think with, with League of Legends, one of the things that's kept it so popular over all these years is uh, how dynamic the changes have been, how big. Uh, and not every year we have the biggest changes in the world. And I think, honestly, over the past couple years, years the game has kind of remained largely the same um so i, I am going to be excited for hopefully some big new changes coming soon but uh i had originally seen a post i think it was a reddit post maybe it was a tweet or something about uh some of the new big changes coming for 2023 so i clicked on the link i opened up a tab i saved it for later and i went back to the link and there was a bunch of text but like the pictures were broken and i it was like stuff wasn't loading it was weird i was like oh maybe my internet's bad i don't know i'm gonna refresh the page and i refreshed the page to this and all of a sudden it was blank it was gone and i was like no take me back take me back i'm spamming the back button it wouldn't pop up again i didn't have screenshots so it was something that obviously they posted and then deleted. Maybe, I mean, not maybe. I mean, it seems like they just posted it too early. They made an announcement before they were ready. Maybe it had some errors in it. I don't know for sure, but I was like, dang, I was all ready to make this video. And then I lost the info. And then I was sad and I was ready to move on with my life and wait for it to get reposted again. But thank goodness for Bess Wisty on Twitter, Star Nemesis Bess. She said, LOL, please, preseason 2023 jungle changes. And she has screenshots. She screenshotted the article. This is what was on my computer. And it has the pictures as well. Um, you know, I had this up on my screen with the pictures broken. Um, but yes, they posted a riot please or an LOL please or whatever the heck it's called. And then deleted it. Like she says, probably because it was posted too early. So let's see what they have to say. Hey junglers, it's been a while since we updated the jungle in a meaningful way, and honestly, our plant-laden home between the lanes is in need of a bit of love. Speaking from one jungle main to another, editor's note, can y'all call yourself a jungle main if you play Shaco? The role hasn't kept up with the times, is in need of a touch-up. I know, I know, Riot reworks jungle is a scary headline to read. Uh, I've been jungling since season two, so I feel it. Jungle is a powerful role, but also the punching bag of the team. Um, it, you know, you're supposed to do all these things. It's a lot, and that's awesome. That's why we main this role. We don't want the majority of players to actively avoid playing any role. Um, and the truth is, we failed that metric when it comes to jungling, which is actually interesting because once upon a time, when I first started playing, you know, season four, five, six, whatever, support was by far the, the least popular role. Nobody wanted to play it. If you got filled to support, it, it was the worst thing in the world. And they made a ton of meaningful changes to make support so much better. And now a lot of people don't really mind getting filled to support. Jungle is all of a sudden, for a lot of people, the least popular position because it's so different than all the other ones. So many people complain about, oh, I have an auto-fill jungler. The game's lost. So maybe they're going to try and fix that. Maybe that's what's going on. I'm not sure here. But but jungle is just super different. You know, it's like the PVE role. Uh, I don't know. In the recent LOL please, Riot Froxen talked a bit about our plans for preseason with communication and vision systems, jungle changes, and Chemtech Drake being our major areas of focus. So what, they're bringing back Chemtech Drake? I don't know. Because we filmed the video a while ago, that's how it works by the way. I'm here to share some extra details for those of you wanting more. Uh, many league players uh, see the wildly complex set of strategies and game knowledge required to be even slightly competent at the jungle and are scared away. I would 100% agree with that. The goal here is not to dumb down jungle or remove the ability to show off your jungle knowledge, but to make sure the jungle is complex in the right places. I think that sounds good. We're currently exploring some changes like jungle pathing aids, uh, something similar to recommended items, but instead it's how to do your first clear, a stepping stone towards mastery of the role. I think that's a bit weird. I, I I don't necessarily love that on first read. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to think about it more. Um, we're also looking into adjusting the way camps leash and including their ranges and reset rules. I think that would be great because the reset rules and ranges are pretty stupid and random right now. Um... Even for experienced players, the rules are finicky and sometimes your champion feels useless because they can't abuse these rules as well as other champs. I, I agree. The reset rules are like pretty arbitrary and pretty stupid overall. Um, right now in League, it's not realistic to expect a ton of different characters to be viable at the highest levels of pro play. Um, will Ramus ever be powerful in high skill brackets? Uh, if jungle clear optimization is no longer a major barrier to entry for jungle viability, way more champions can be played there. I don't know. That, that feels like a stretch to me. I don't know that I necessarily agree with that. The meta is less set in stone. The jungle itself isn't telling you that you're bad at the game just because you picked Warwick and wanted to take Raptors. 
yeah, maybe. Uh, skills should be rewarded across the roster of champions, not only on the select few that can effectively clear the current jungle. Yeah, it is weird because like to be a to be a strong meta jungler, you have to be able to clear AOE camps, strong single camps. You know, it it does take a, a mix of different things, and it's pretty arbitrary and stupid. But um, I mean, if every camp was the same, that would kind of be stupid as well. And I don't think that's what they're saying, but like that's kind of the opposite end. Um, some amount of the skill expression around clearing your jungle will be lost with these changes, but that means we can move some of the jungle's complexity and skill away from clear optimization towards other places, which I think is a good place. Clear optimization being the best part of jungle makes it so boring and so uninteresting. Uh, like, you know, people are like, oh, like in pro play, they're like, oh, this guy, his pathing, his clearing is so sick. It's so insane. But like, that's not a highlight real thing. That's not going to excite casual fans. That's not going to make the game super interesting to watch. Yeah, the, the super, super hardcore League of Legends fans can appreciate that stuff. But uh, I don't know. I think having some skill expression in some other places, I don't know exactly what that means. I think in theory sounds cool. Uh, also talked about some of our plans for the communication system changes, blah, 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 blah. Um, the last major change in jungle this preseason will be the jungle items. The current items are functional, but they aren't that exciting, particularly in the case of Red Smite. I agree. The reason most of us are drawn to the jungle is because it's different from laning. We don't want to sit in a lane and farm with dinky Doran's items. The goal of the jungle item changes is to get them to express the difference uh, between culling cool camps and farming bo boring minions, which is interesting because there's been many iterations of, of jungle specific items over the years in League of Legends. A lot of the times they've either been super busted, super overpowered or super terrible. Um, so, yeah, I don't know this. I mean, it sounds good in theory, but this is something we've had before. Some of you might remember the days of Spirit of the Elder Lizard or Riggle's Lantern. Absolutely. Back when jungle items felt more meaningful. Yes, it did seem more meaningful, but they were also uh, pretty busted. Uh, those were problematic in their own ways. Yes, we want to capture some of that fantasy with a bit of a twist this time. Pets. These pets will help you to do little things in the jungle, like clearing or taking down epic monsters. As you jungle, you slowly raise and feed your pet until they've grown up enough to be able to empower you. We haven't locked the final design or art of these yet in order to save you and my editors from having to understand what I'm trying to convey with text. Here are some picks. Just keep in mind, these will not be going live and the final design will very, very, very likely look different from this. So that's uh, kind of interesting. We'll look at that stuff in a little bit. Um, this is what peak game design looks like. Uh, our earliest prototype was a jungle wolf that followed you around whenever you killed the camp. Ari's Firefox missile shot into the wolf's mouth. And at a certain point, the wolf got really, really small uh, and attached to your head. Then a colored version of soon to be outdated Udyr's tiger form glowed on you while Aatrox's all activation sound effect played repeatedly. I don't even know what the heck's going on anymore. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's kind of what this deleted article was, but here's a TLDR. Jungle pets are back. They will help with jungle paths, adjusting the way camps leash and more. Um, and yeah, we got a picture of some jungle pets. We have, you know, the, the leashing, how it's really stupid. You can see red buffs resetting there when the guy didn't want it to. I still don't even understand what this picture is. Some weird craziness mashup thing going on. Uh, and then, you know, here's maybe some pets helping people clear. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Obviously this is still very, very early days. Like I said, this is August and this stuff isn't coming until preseason 2023, which will be like December 2022, January 2023, somewhere in there. But uh, I don't know. If you're a jungler, some big changes are coming to jungle once again. Some junglers are going to... Uh, probably most junglers are going to hate that. But I think overall, it is good for the game. Jungle is one of the most influential and impactful roles on anyone. It's on everyone. It's also the most like static role where you know, you're know you just kind of PVEing. Your opening clear is pretty much the same every game, that type of stuff. So I don't know. I think, I think big sweeping changes to the game, while probably frustrating for a lot of players and for pro players and all that stuff, I think it's great. I think it's what keeps the game interesting. I think if we had the same game from season one till now, it would have never survived. It would have never been this long. And if you know we keep the game the same way it is now, 10 years in the future, it's not going to be here either. So we're going to have to keep changing stuff. Sometimes it's going to be for the better. Sometimes it's going to be for the worse sometimes it's going to affect your favorite champion your favorite position whatever this time it's junglers uh, and again i still don't know everything that's going on but they might be simplifying dumbing down in the jungle a little bit they might be adding some pets look out because some crazy stuff is coming so i'm excited i think preseason is going to be fun but that's pretty much it for this video today guys definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it. i would appreciate that so so much leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think about anything we talked about in this video today subscribe stay up to date on my latest content hopefully catch you guys in the next one but until then peace